Now we're going to go off and take a look at our integration with the Microsoft Office product. With Microsoft Office 2007, we're taking advantage of Microsoft's development environment, referred to as Office Business Application, and the ClickOnce technology to be able to uh, develop uh, interaction between our application extender repository and the four major clients of Office 2007, those being Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. So what I've done is I've come in and I'm, I have chosen to log in to the Word client. You'll notice that you can save the credentials, you can automatically log in, and you can even do that full text search if so desired. I'm just going to go ahead and log in. And when I do that, it's going to allow me to open up these business applications. I'm just going to go ahead and open up a basic content management application. And it's going to add some panels to our interface here for the Word client. So I'll give that just a moment. And when we do that, it's going to allow us an interaction with whatever we've program programmed in here. In this case, we've got a tight integration with the HR application. So if I go down here and do, first, uh, do last name is Crowley. And I don't want to search for Crowley. I don't want to search for the whole thing. So another query uh, uh, concept is being able to do CROW asterisk. Asterisk meaning anything after the uh, CROW it will bring back. So I'm going to go ahead and click that search. And when I do such, it's going to go out and bring me back the result set of all the CROWs, in this case, Crowley's. I can be able to uh, uh, click and be able to do high, low, low to high, as we did before. We can do filtering, real-time filtering. So if I just wanted to look at applications, I can do that. And you'll notice as I click, it, it does a real-time filtering. I can also change what I'm bringing back from an uh, index uh, standpoint. So if I wanted to be able to bring the employee ID over, because I consider that to be critical for this presentation, I can go ahead and bring the employee ID back, add it to my result set, and save that configuration. Now that employee ID, I may want to be able to move that to right after the first name, and when I do that, that is now set up. This is uh, utilizing XML properties underneath. Again, Visual Studio is part of this development platform. In fact, it requires Visual Studio uh, standard. Yeah, professional, of course, is all right also, but standard is necessary for the development of the OBAs. With that, I'm going to go over to the application and do a right mouse button. And when I do that, I'm going to open this up in what we refer to as the uh, Window Presentation File Viewer or WPF for short, in which I will refer to from now on. So the WPF viewer is going to give us an uh, uh, insight into the document in question here, whether it's one page, whether it's uh, three or ten or however many pages it is. So this one is just a one-page uh, element. It says one, one of one. If I go over to modify, if I want to add any pages, replace any pages, uh, add a new page version, we can do that. Let's go down to this application and open this in WPF Viewer. So this one has four pages, and you'll see that this one also has annotations and redactions. So if I go ahead and hide the annotation, can do that. If I want to show the text view, I've got it with a green screen scenario. I can also show or hide the thumbnails, again using the Microsoft Silverlight presentation for the thumbnail concept. Modify that if I want to be able to modify. Again, adding pages, even page versions. So I, I didn't show that in the previous uh, documentation, but a version uh, can be kept up to 255 versions of each and every page of the document in question. And last but not least, the normal zoom in, zoom outs, uh, fit to window, fit to height, fit to width, rotation, etc. Okay, and that's the WPF viewer. Now, if I want to be able to, of course, bring this up and work with it in Word, let's go ahead and open it in Office. When I do such, it goes through and investigates the entire document and sees how many Word elements, how many Word pages, in other words, there are in that document and presents it for a select page. I happen to have just one. I'm going to go ahead and 
uh, open that document up and check it out, that, that page. I'm going to say Dave has this. And it will then go ahead and open that uh, Word document up, brings it up in my presentation, and I can then go ahead and make a change to it if I so desire. And you'll notice up at the top here, App Extender has been added to the menu bar. That again, part of the OBA technology. Click on this, we get this whole menu ribbon bar that uh, uh, Phil mentioned in his presentation so that if I want to be able to see document versions, I can be able to see multiple versions if I have them. Uh, it's going out. As you can see, I have several that have been done in this particular presentation. Uh, I can go ahead and delete a document, delete a version, check in, check out, all the normal library functions as well as uh, the modifications of such. I'm just going to go ahead and check this one back in. I've made my change to 2015. Go ahead and check it in. This is just an example. This is all part of the OBA, uh, uh, or I should say the Application Extender for Office 2007 product. We do give samples of, of uh, uh, capabilities that could be enacted at a production site. But uh, with that said, development does need to be done uh, for uh, targeting of the uh, eventual end user. So I'm just going to do a new and I'm going to do an increase. And I'll say Dave is done. Check it in. And that documentation is now ready to go for anybody else in the organization. Nice thing is with Application Extender is that we never are removing content from the repository. Whether I'm working on it uh, by checking it out or uh, reading it, we can be able to share content amongst each other. One person can modify, everybody else can be able to look at it. Uh, so team, uh, team viewing is very, very uh, prevalent within application.